All right, guys. I got a little goodie in the mail from Sunny. <laughs> Sunny, yeah. Sunny lives in China. <laughs> I like the way they mask their names, kind of suit us. But this is from Sunny in China. I've been waiting on this. This should be the Fly Tower integrated ESC uh, 600 milliwatt 40 channel VTX OSD F3FC. Uh, it's rated at 6S. And from what I've seen, it looks really good online on, on, on the eBay ad. <laughs> yeah. So we're fixing to open this and see what it really looks like in person. And then I'll go over some of the stuff with you, man. And uh, I've never seen one before, never heard anybody talk about one, but I really wanted to try it. So I'm doing this on my buddy Dennis's uh, quad. So let's open this box and see what we got. There's my wife's curse. First thing, it looks to be boxed well. Uh, climbed up good. And that is definitely the fly tower. So let's see what this thing looks like in person. So this is the cable kit it comes with. Uh, this comes with all your cables for your receivers, different receiver styles. Uh, I did notice in the ad it shows cables for each different kind of camera, so it plugs direct into your OSD in the back of your camera. So uh, it's pretty much plug and play from what it looked like. Of course, you know, you got to solder ESCs to motor wires, but as far as the camera hookup with the OSD, it's supposed to be pretty well, pretty well plug and play from the pictures. So let's see what we got here for 115 USD. Uh, I did get this off of eBay, like I said. So, let's go ahead and take it all out of the box. And we'll cut it open and check each piece one at a time. So, we'll start with the cable box. See if we have cables for everything. Well, looks like we do. Satellite RX hookups, regular, I'm guessing, RX hookups. Uh, maybe some OSD cables or something, I'm not real sure. And there is a camera cable that plugs straight into the uh, VTX and into most most all your cameras so, so here's another one for different camera styles I guess it's got a different wire pattern so we've got a few cables there get my pad down here where's my So we got a set of aluminum and brass bolts with aluminum standoffs and nylon lock nuts. So I like that. It comes with standoffs, so I ain't got to waste all mine on this build. Uh, and they're about the right length, so it should stack up pretty sweet. Plus.
This is the flight controller, the F3 V12. Uh, eyeballing it up close, it looks pretty good. Uh, the chips are actually lined up straight, they're not all sitting crooked like a lot of them you'll get. And if you notice, it does have header pins on it. That is so when you stack it, you don't have to solder each component to each component, it all transfers through them header pins. So, this ain't a stack where you got to wire all three of these together, it all basically plugs into itself from what I've seen on the uh, paper. So, there's the FC. Things labeled pretty good. It actually has a boot button on it. Instead of boot pads, it's got a button right here on the side. And uh, you can actually feel when it clicks down. Uh, kind of like the Combani had a button. I liked it, but the bad thing was it was hard to tell when it was down. But this one, you can you can actually feel it click in. So that's good. I'm sure it ain't as good as a Combani FC, but I think it'll do pretty good. See what the next package is. Alright, the next package. This is definitely going to be a VTX. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's got a button over here on the side of it for your channels, I'm going to assume. And it has the header pins too, so that it plugs into the top of the FC. Look here, the FC has a header pin plug-in on it. So that'll plug directly in, I'm assume, I'm gonna assume and give you your OSD and everything directly to your FC when it's plugged in. Kinda like so, you can see. And that plugs into the ESC, I'm sure. So this is your VTX. And something I did notice about this VTX. The antenna does have a U.FL cable on it, so you can buy replacements. If you bust something up here on the head, if you got it mounted down, sometimes you'll break the threads off of these. So it's replaceable without solder. That's nice. Saves a lot of people that don't know how to solder real good a lot of headache. So it clips into the board right here. Just snaps on. I've installed a couple of those before from the remote. And uh, another thing cool about this, this one actually comes with a nice little heat shrink board, 3M taped, aluminum, looks really good, good design, uh, if it works, even better, but it does have an aluminum heat shrink that comes with it for the e F or the uh, BTX, so that's nice. This is what we got so far, and this is going to be the ESC, I'm sure. And that is the ESC. It's a 30 amp ESC rated up to 6S. And honestly. It looks really well built. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. All the ferrets, everything are nice and straight. I mean, it's not something you get a lot of times. Sometimes you'll have these are these will these will be off. They'll be crooked a little bit, you know, on the cheaper shit. They're usually crooked. All the ones I've got that were just little cheap Chinese ESCs. Usually they're not perfect. This is a uh, all very straight. Looks to be made good. It's got good size motor pads to solder to. Nice. And it has a header so that it can stack easy. Says your FC, I'm sure, stacks right in so you don't have to run wires to it. So basically, when it's all said and done, you're going to end up with that connecting everything. 
the stand also go in between there of course so it'll be nice and flat but that pretty much connects everything to everything so it can communicate without running wires everywhere so this should be a really super clean build uh, looks like the only wires I'm really going to have is the main battery power and the camera and receiver cables which you know I solder all that direct but I'll keep y'all updated once I get this installed I'll be doing this tonight and putting this in and I'll uh, keep you updated on how I think it runs uh, this board does come preloaded with the newest clean flight uh, we'll probably swap it over to beta flight if it's compatible I'll have to do some research like I said I've never seen one installed or heard anybody talk about them so this is all new software or new board to me uh, new everything so I'll keep updating and let y'all know what I think about it but so far with the build quality uh, I'm really impressed it looks like the board's already been almost waterproofed on the bottom to be honest the ESC uh, it looks to be coated with some waterproofing so enamel or something clear it I don't know like I said it looks all of it looks really well made so I'll keep y'all updated like I said and let y'all know what I think about it all right guys uh, hope y'all enjoy. Later.